I'm Tom Stallard. I'm a planetary astronomer at the University of Leicester. For decades now, we've had measurements of the temperature of the top of the atmosphere of the gas giants, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. And they've always been really hot, but when we model them, the heating from the sun should not really heat those atmospheres up very much at all. This paper is basically the first attempt by observers to give modelers the kind of data they need to really understand what's going on and it's an incredibly higher detail than anything we've been able to do before. And it's effectively told us that it's not a heating source at the equatorial region. It must be the aurora that's doing it in some way. It's also got this one key indicator, which is this, what, what appears to be a wave of heat that we have caught in action moving from the pole to the equator. So it seems to resolve this decade long question. What we've done is effectively take a temperature image, a thermal image like you would with a thermal camera, except it's a lot more involved than that, obviously. And doing that is incredibly hard, and that's why no one's done it before. The last time we did it was uh, decades ago, and the resolution uh, was so much lower, we couldn't see details. Now we've taken this wonderful image that has all the details we need to see to understand what's going on and we can see the temperature from the pole to the equator, and that shows us exactly what's happening at Jupiter. Science is always difficult because there's long lead times. Then there's an extended period where you have to work carefully to process the data. But there's always that magical moment where everything in the air stops and you suddenly see a result. But what we've never had is anything more than a number. We've had a large amount of heat measured at the equator, but we haven't mapped out the heat in latitude and longitude. We haven't seen where those heat sources might be. Uh, and that's really what we've done different here. We've been able to map at great detail the heating across the whole of the planet and show where the heating is higher or lower. Heart-stopping stuff. <laughs>